Hello everyone, welcome to the 10th tutorial on a beginner's guide on how to twin motion. So, in today's video, I'll be explaining to you guys how to manipulate weather, time of day, within twin motion. As you see here in the sample. Alright, let's do this. Now, this is actually very easy. All we gotta do is go to dock again once more on the settings. And here, plenty of options for us. Now, first, we will be going to weather. And here, we can change the weather as we like. So, from rainy to no more rain. Next, from snow to summer. But of course, if we would put back this to snow and would activate the rain of the weather, it would instead become a hailstorm. And from here, we can also change the growth of the trees like so. Not just the trees, of course, it also affects bushes, almost most vegetation, I guess. Then next up, we're going to go to effects. Here, we can change the width speed, but it's very difficult to see the difference apart from the particles. So let's zoom in on a tree or rather a bush that's moving. Not this one. This one right here. So if I were to increase the wind speed, you will see their movement differ. Direction. And the smog. Wait, we gotta go out first. Look at the distance. If I increase the smog percentage, it's kind of like a fog, which allows us to distort our vision. Okay, next up, the particles. Well, it's very simple. It just removes all the decals or rather some graphics for us. Next up, the ocean. Let's go outside for a minute. And this might crash my laptop, but let's give it a try. So click the ocean. All right, get ready. Once I enable this, oh wow, okay. My laptop survived. Anyway, so here's the ocean. Look at the graphics on that. So clear. Anyway, okay. So now we can change the sea level. There, looks like we're gonna drown, I guess. And look what, look what it looks like underneath the sea ocean. So let's decrease that to one meter. Zero. There, now it looks like everything is flooded. Let's make that back to 2 meters. Here, we can also change the texture. Sorry, let's go back. The texture of the ocean by changing this one to whatever we want from muddy to clear. And also from here, you can see the movement. If it's clear river, you won't see that much movement. But if you go back to the ocean, you will see some waves. Alright, so moving on, let's turn this off. Let's go back to weather and make it to rain instead. There, that looks better. Next up, let's manipulate the daytime. So, we can do that by going to the eye icon here. This one, and from here, we can change it. Just play around it like this. And as you see, we're currently using a 12-hour format. If you want to use 24-hour, you can do so by going here in the burger menu to preference and timestamp. So I'm currently using 12-hour, but if I were to go to 24-hour, press OK. There. Now it's got a 24-hour time format for us. Now you can play around as much as you want. Also, you can change the day of time from going back to settings and here in location. From here, we have plenty of things to do. We can also manipulate the day of the calendar. A compass for us to play around with. So we can shift the rotation of the sun. And lastly, the background. Look at the horizon. From here, we have some choices for us already preset. There. Let's use a European city 
and from here we can also rotate them as we please okay so um, I guess that's it for this tutorial for questions and suggestions please do comment below and if you find this tutorial helpful do support me by liking and subscribing I'll see you in the next one thank you very much guys